Today, I would like to review some castings that I received from Richard Quakey, a phenomenal engraver from California in the United States. Um, just an incredible engraver, incredible, uh, incredible resource for information. If you look at his Instagram or his website, you can, you can just from the photographs study his work for hours. But I was lucky enough to be able to grab some of these castings that he's recently had for sale. And I can tell you they're absolutely incredible. His work is, is just hours and hours of study material. One of the things that I appreciate, he, he has this belt buckle, uh, which is one of my favorite pieces that he's done. But in this belt buckle, it offers so many qualities that you can study from his beautiful scroll work. You can see his overlapping and just incredibly fine shade work in the leaves and how he's able to incorporate in the overall design the scrolls that intertwine with the actual frame around the horses these bellino style horses in the middle here which on their own are just absolutely gorgeous you can see how he's handled the light the veins of the horses i mean it's reminiscent of some of the renaissance masters and how they how they handled form and light even here in the background you can see how he's added some backlight to the to the neck of the horse here to kind of give it a little more form around around the uh, negative space. This beautiful border, incredibly finely engraved, which leads into more scrolls, which lead around again to this frame, this beautiful scroll frame. It's just incredible. I really enjoy this piece a lot. I think it's uh, it's if you're lucky to get one it's it's well worth the money and they're not that expensive i do recommend finding castings that you can study it's one of the least expensive ways to put the work of masters in your hands to be able to study and and to really um appreciate and learn from so this is a uh casting of a lighter that he did that he had done and i believe um if i'm correct this is nimshki style scroll work which is an older style of scroll work, but it's absolutely gorgeous on this classic American Eagle style lighter. You can see in the background, if the uh, video picks it up, you can see these really finely Bellino style stars in the background that just really fade into the background and add a little bit of texture. Just delicate and gorgeous. And this really, I think it's a really kind of classy frame that he's put around this whole scene that leads into the scroll work that kind of frames the whole eagle. And I love how parts of the eagle composition break out of the frame. It really gives it a dimensionality and a little bit more movement and force to the overall design. But look how fine this beautiful scroll work is, or this beautiful Bellino work is. Just incredible, just incredible. The feathers, the light, the form of each feather. You can see underneath the eagle here, and he's even added then this little bit more of from his from the eagle's belly to the leg where the light's reflecting back. Just very, very observant. Very nice, nice piece. And this style of scroll work is very beautiful. It's simple. And for a beginner, it's something to be um, you know, to be emulated and copied. And even for a master, it's something to be you know, really mastered and he was able to use it in a way that's really classic and really gorgeous. And you can kind of really see the effect of that style. And he here he's used a, a dot punch background, super small dot in the background. Very beautiful. Just a stunning piece. Now this is a plate it has a little bit of everything. So <clears throat> in the middle, you'll see as some beautiful fine English scroll work in this diamond shape. And then here, I'm not sure what you would call this, a mon mandala, or just a beautiful ornate spiraling design here with a flower in the middle, it's a floral motif. And these one thing I like about this plate is he's handled similar scrolls in these corners 
but handle them in different ways to give them different dimensionality, different looks. This shading is a little more linear. This one is a little more um, light and form based. So it gives it a little more photorealistic effect because he is, he's used some super, super fine shading to highlight the, um, the, the, the turns in the leaves and the um, overlaps. Very beautiful. But here it's a little more linear, a little more thick. So you can see two scrolls that are similar. I think can give similar different looks just in the way that they're shaded. Beautiful border treatments. It's very, very, very subtle. Even this little thin line that adds so much to the overall effect of this border, you know, cuts so beautifully and so straight, so perfectly. Just an incredible hand, incredible work. You can see some of this classic style scroll here, scroll work in these corners. And then you can see some flare cut up through this piece right here. It frames the diamond. And one of the things I love are, are these little details, like this nicked border used with what appears to be a round graver when you look at it under magnification. Round graver and it comes back with a square graver and just nicks in between. It gives it a really nice effect. But one of my favorite parts of the plate that are that's kind of it's hidden almost is this this part up here in the top. It's almost like a pattern in the background. It actually is a pattern in the background. It's so subtle and so beautiful. It could easily easily be overlooked, but the reason I mean the way it was inserted into the design really is a classy effect to the gives a classy effect to the whole thing because it's such a subtle beautiful delicate and precise design um it just really showcases the artist's hand and here again he's doing similar scroll work shaded in a different manner to give it different effects i really love this plate i've looked at it for for hours literally it's really beautiful. And this fine English scroll in the middle is really nice. That spirals out. It's just beautiful. One of the things that, like I've been mentioning lately in my videos, that can benefit an engraver is to learn as many styles for script lettering and lettering in general. Now, Quakey was a a tattoo artist for many years. And I think that that really shows in his uh, script style and his old English style. I've seen a lot of this particular type of script um, in tattoos and I think it's absolutely gorgeous, the flourishes and these little, these little details coming off, coming off the, uh, the letters right here. Really add a lot of motion, a lot of elegance to the script style and just gives it a beautiful, beautiful look. Even these simple scrolls are nice to study. You can, for a beginner, these are perfect to study. This is this is the basis for just a gorgeous design and in and of itself, scroll work alone can really be a gorgeous design. And I think he's used that very well. So I really love the script plate. His old English plate, super classy. I mean, I can see this in many applications. And I've seen him use it on signet rings and things like that, which is perfect for that, that particular application. But it's just a beautiful example of precise and perfect cutting, perfect, uh, perfect attention to detail, patience, and really understanding the form of the letters, the spacing, the, the height, width, and how all that relationship really plays an important part in how beautiful your lettering is. And then Roman, which for me is so tedious and difficult. Everything has to be done in an exacting manner. And here he's pulled it off perfectly. These beautiful letters, beautiful letters. So I just wanted to kind of uh, showcase my buddy Quakey for a couple minutes because I think he deserves it. 
And his work is absolutely gorgeous and it's something that I aspire to and it's something that I study. And I recommend for everyone to go out and purchase some castings from engravers that you admire. If they have some for sale, don't sleep on this, this technique of improving your own work because it is like having um, hours and hours of class in your hand under a scope, even with a magnifying glass, the details that you can extract from these things are just incredible. So good luck, go get some castings and let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you for watching.